welcome to Northern Ice Bushcraft and Canoeing. Today's review it's about this bag and it's one bag and a half. It comes from a company called Duluth Trading out in, uh, out in the States and uh, DuluthTrading.com I shall put it up here. Visit their website. They do some really cool, cool kit. Um, primarily aimed at the tradesman working kind of guy um, this bag caught my eye for canoeing um, I work in the construction industry myself but I don't need a bag for that I need a bag for canoeing and this is spot on it's basically made from a 15.8 ounce PVC backed polyester um, so when it's dirty or needs cleaning you can just hose it off wipe it clean um, and it'll just dry, wipe it dry, job's done. Um, basically, it's, the whole package, as is, is 21 and a half inches long, 14 and a half inches deep, and 15 inches high. And uh, it's just a big duffel bag with a surprise. You've got two big handles on each end for picking it up, carry handle with a neoprene wrap. To hold the handles together which I really like. But what I love, centre strap, one bag, two bags, three bags, and one big bag. Now the main bag is just a big duffel, just a big holder obviously for these. However, if you're a dirty construction engineer, um, or if you've been canoeing and you're covered in mud, you're wet, in the front pocket, just here, along this, this back edge, there's a zipper. Now all the zippers are YKK zippers, metal zippers, uh, which I think bang on. Too many bags now come in with plastic zip and they just break all the time. YKK are at the top of their game, I think, for um, being a tough make of zip. Um, so yeah, spot on. In the front pouch, you get this changing mat for what they say, dumping your dirty duds. Perfect size for standing on. Um, strip off all your wet clothes. Bung your wet clothes straight in this holder and away you go. The other thing I like is the quality of stitching. Everything's been double stitched across on the main strength points where you need it. And it's just nice touches like the embroidered name on the front in blue. It's a nice touch. Um, all the top edges are double rolled with like a beading inside. Well, it feels like anyway, and um, to give it some strength. So that's the main duffel bag. Now, the little bags, which aren't so little, are colour coded. So you've got a green, a blue, and a yellow. On the top of each bag, you have a semi see through mesh, um, which is plastic, clear plastic, with two vent holes for ventilation. You know, obviously being designed for the, the working man or woman. At the end of the day, if you're covered in dirt and, and you niff a bit, it's going to vent that smell out way from all your bags and maybe your clean clothing. Each bag is basically the same except the sizes. You've got two, with the green and the blue, uh, 15 inches wide, 8 inches deep and uh, 15 inches high and the yellow one is slightly smaller 15 by five and a half and 15 um, but it's just an awesome bit of kit and for canoeing from my point of view um, if you watch my other videos on north knife canoeing and bushcraft you'll see that i'm always struggling with how to carry my canoeing equipment i like versatility but i also like e ease of carry um, some of my trips I need to do portages, that kind of stuff. So, um, obviously, 
you want to be able to carry it easily. This one I will be able to carry easily. And if needs be I can break it down. And also a main point with canoeing, you need to be able to trim the canoe, you know, and put weight in different parts of the canoe and depending on what you're canoeing on. With this you can, you just break it down, put the weight wherever you need it. So that's just a big, big bonus for me. So for canoeing, from my point of view, my canoeing equipment is goes as follows. A green bag, which is the bigger of the or one of the bigger ones of the three, contains my sleeping bag, my hammock, my tarpaulin, my pegs, guy ropes and bungees, everything in there in one bag. I know that when I get to my campsite or where I'm gonna pitch for the night, I don't have to think, oh you know, get all this out, get all this out and move all stuff. I just grab that bag, yank it out of the duffel, and I'm good to go. My blue bag, this is the uh, other big one, is my kitchen, or my wanigan. And in here, what do we got? This is where you can fit, average, and a lot more. Little gas, my coffee machine, Two litres of water, you can't get more in, two billy tins, a cup, coffee, pot rest, my barbecue grill, little pot full of all my utensils, soaps, that kind of stuff spices and my storm kettle all that in one little pouch on the floor the base of the bags like I said that I've got um, oh and a spare knife that just fell out uh, of, like a thicker rubber to give it some strength and waterproofness uh, YKK zippers again and these kind of soft feel tough neoprene plastic wrapped around the handles which is nice good grip and then my yellow bag is just spare clothing um, and for the purpose of the video I'll just stuck in some some old stuff just to give it the bulk but it's perfect size really for um, your waterproofs spare pair of shoes yeah that kind of stuff there you go I'll put it all back together again and you'll see it in its entirety again so there you go, the Duluth Trading 4-in-1 grab-and-go gear carrier. Fantastic.